Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new. Hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. It helps my channel to grow and I appreciate it so, so much. So let's just go ahead and get started. We're going to take everything off of this picture frame, take everything out including the glass and then we're going to use some wire cutters to pull out those little clips. Take some hot glue and run it around the whole side of the edge or the whole back end of the edges. Put that glass back in and then we're going to clean the glass. Alright, so we're going to start out by using these wood stickers. And I'm also going to be using these other wood stickers from a previous DIY. And we're just going to start out by using some antique, uh, the Waverly Chalk Paint Antique Stain. And um, we're just going to do a few different pieces in that and then take Waverly's white chalk paint and do a few pieces in that. So we're going to take some more of that Waverly's white chalk paint and I'm going to start by just making some stripes in the white paint and we're going to do some buffalo check. So I started out making them too thin so then I made them a little bit thicker and I'm just going to do that all the way down. So as you see here, I had started out um, just doing vertical stripes and then I realized I needed to fill in the spots that weren't painted yet. And just so you know, it would be way easier if you just painted this whole thing white and then came in and did the gray stripes. It'll be, it'll turn out way more even. I actually did a piece like that after this, after I figured that out and it was a lot easier and turned out way better. So just paint the whole thing white and then go in with the gray stripes. So now I'm going to take that ink uh, color in Waverly's chalk paint and I'm just going to paint everywhere the gray meets each other um, a little black square. So I'll do that. So now I'm going to take my hot glue gun and do a pretty good glob of glue, if I could talk, um, right there on that sticker piece. And I'm just going to glue every single one of these down after I have, it took me a while to get these exactly how I wanted them because I didn't want any of the same colors next to each other. I didn't want any of the same pieces next to each other, but this is how it turned out and I absolutely love it. I've seen other ones like this where they have put burlap or different uh, materials in the background, but I actually really like this with just the glass. All right, let's move on. This is the next DIY. So I just took some bottles, glitter bottles, um, a melatonin bottle, which is what this is. And I'm gonna take my ink, um, Waverly's chalk paint and paint this black. Um, and then I decided that I wanted to try to use this Craftwise chalk, um, chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree. And um, I'm actually glad that I painted it with the chalk, Waverly's chalk paint first because I tried painting something else with the uh, chalkboard paint first and it didn't work as well. So just keep that in mind if you do use this chalkboard paint. Um, and so now I'm going to take the color mineral and I'm going to paint my glitter tube and then I'll be back. So I picked up these chalk writers from the new Craft Doll at Dollar Tree and I wanted to try these on this new chalkboard paint. And this is what that looks like, the, the tip of that looks like. However, I uh, had the greatest idea to try to do this with a stencil and that didn't work because this is not an actual chalk writer. This is like a wax is what the, the chalk writer is actually, is like a wax. So then I decided I would just use my gold paint um, by Art Deco 
I believe is the name of it, um, in pure gold. And I'm just going to paint into those stencils and I'll be back. So then I decided that it looked too perfect for what it is. So I took some more of that chalk paint in the color ink and I'm just going to rough up this lettering a little bit which I absolutely loved the way it looked before and was so pretty um, but I really actually wish that I would have went back over this entire thing and did what I'm going to do to the next few bottles but I didn't realize until after I'd done the wording and it was a little too late so I, I still love the way it turned out though um, but now I'm going to take this raffia and I'm just going to wrap it around until I get to the very top of the sides and then I'm just going to spiral it in all the way into the center and you'll see what I'm doing um, and then I'll just fill all the blank spots in that I missed after that. So this is how the first one turned out. Um, I'm not that in love with it, but it's cute, I guess. <laughs> um, I'm usually, I usually like my DIYs a little bit more than I liked this particular one, but I wanted to go ahead and post it and show it, show it to you guys. Um, so we'll move on to the second one, and everything that I'm doing to this one, um, you know, I'm I'm using the ivory paint. Um, I did it to the white one as well. And now I'm going to take the truffle, I'm going to do it to the black pill bottle, and then I'll use it on the white one also. So now after using all of those different paints, this is how the black one turned out. And I just went ahead and used a chalk a chalk marker to write in lizard tongue. Um, and I used some jute twine on the top. And now I'm going to take the white one that I, that I painted and I'm just going to write in witch's brew with my hot glue gun. And then I'll just paint over the glued words in ink. Alright, so now I'm just taking some brown and light tan raffia and I'm just going to hang that over the top to get the measurement that I want because I do want it to hang over on both sides. And then I'm just going to take one of those pieces that I cut and measure out the rest of the raffia. Um, and then this is how much I ended up with and it was about the perfect amount to cover this top. So now I'm just going to make sure that they're all even in my hand and I'm going to glue those down with it hanging over um, about half an inch uh, on both sides. So after I had went one way with the raffia, I moved over and started wrapping it across the top of the uh, raffia gun one way. That probably makes no sense, but you can see what I'm talking about right here. <laughs> and this is how it turned out after I had gotten done, and I really, really liked the way it looked um, with it hanging over that much, but you couldn't see the witch's brew, so I ended up having to cut it down, and then I just took some juice twine. And I basically just wrapped it around, tied a knot, wrapped it back around, and I did this like three times, and then just knotted it, and then cut off the remainder. And this is how the second one turned out, and I really like this one. So when I started dry brushing this glitter 
um, tube, I started with the anti wax, the antique wax, um, because I really liked the appearance that it had on the um, bottle, uh, especially on top of the chalk paint. Um, and so now I'm just moving in with the ink, and um, and then I'll stop with the dry brushing because I actually look really like the way it turned out with just those two colors. And now I'm gonna write in eyes with my glue gun. <laughs> and after I had done this, I really wish I would have picked something else to write, but it just seemed like the easiest thing at the time to write, so I did that. And now I'm just using my chalk paint to paint over that. I did do two coats on top of the glue um, on both bottles. All right, so now I'm taking some wire um, that comes in a pack of four from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna take that glitter lid and I'm gonna wrap it around on this side so that it will stay, and so that I don't have to glue it in place. And I'm just gonna wrap that around till it's tight. And then once I have that in place, I'll use my um, my wire cutters to push that piece down so that it doesn't poke me. And now I'm just gonna wrap it all the way around that top piece. Um, until um, I used up all my wire. I think I used about three feet of wire. And I actually had something else planned to do. I really was just gonna paint the wire, but I couldn't get it to glue um, around it. I was gonna try to wrap it around the whole thing, but it wouldn't stay. So I decided to get my hot glue gun and just drench this. And the wire ended up being a great screen to hold in that hot glue. And it actually, um, you can actually see it p poking out through the glue, and I just thought it looked really, really cool. So now I'm just going to take that Waverly's chalk paint in the color ink, and I'm just going to paint a, a very light coat on this and, um, and just in random spots. And then I took the Crimson Red. And, um, and then I just did the same with it. I covered it a little bit better, but I really liked that you could see the black underneath it. And, um, and this is how all three of them, or all four of them turned out. And I actually like the way they look together. However, I do wish I had made the poison bottle look a little older. But look at the top on this. Isn't that cool? I really like it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down in the comment section let me know which one was your favorite